Well, here it is, Thursday evening, sometime in October, before Halloween. Been working on getting the lights mounted. There's a front turn signal, marker light, parking sensor, side lights, side turn signal light. I've got my door catchers just sitting there. Got the bolts in them. I don't lose them. And going to the back. Of course we have our rear safety light. I ordered two new tail lights. One of them turned out to be like this. It's called a cat eye. So, and the other one was a regular one. So I had to go back on eBay this morning and order one of these. I like it, it's different. And again, parking sensors. Reverse lights off a Toyota van. Another sensor. Future license plate. Another sensor. Reverse light. And the last sensor. You notice these covers are nice and black. Well, I use this Eastwood plastic resurfacer. It's supposed to be pretty darn good. It actually melts itself into the plastic. It's not really paint. Need to work on my latches. This one and for the back window. Have mounted the rear window hinges just so they don't get lost. Just playing around one of the door hinges. Now you may notice, except for this screw, which I had to paint black, they're all nice and shiny. Well, it's been spending money. Went to Ace Hardware twice, picked up all stainless steel, nuts, bolts, screws, to replace every nut and bolt on this car. Well, almost. And I actually got chrome screws for the door hinges. There's my driving lights still in the bag. Still need to make a bracket for that and get the adhesive to mount metal to fiberglass. There's another toy from Eastwood. We'll be powder coating a few parts on this car. Especially the rear vents, which are all rusty. So I need to set up my sandblaster, clean them, blast them, and cook them. So that's about it for this video. Didn't scratch the body, that's one good thing. I like these side turn signals. They actually got a reflector angled off to the side so people that are by your door will see it. This is the chrome trim I picked up on eBay. It's 3 8 comes with adhesive. And you notice I will have to trim some of my wheel well. And this is one of the better ones. But whoever cut this thing out, I think normally they use a half inch. And in some places I don't have a half inch. That's why I went with three eighths and I'll just use the sander to trim them down. Wiped off the surface with prep ball, then lacquer thinner, and then I applied it. Seems to stick really well, bends nicely. I guess that's about it. Oop. Front catch. It's been painted and ready to mount 
for the cover. Still need to glue a latch onto that or catch. Catch. Then I found that my headlights were all screwed up because whoever drilled the holes were completely wrong. See the space? I had to move everything out. It was twisted. So once I get the headlights on and there are the next ones also with stainless steel bolts. Once they are aligned and working, I will tack weld them to the, the lift so they will not slip. That's about it. Off for another day of adventure. I've actually been goofing off. It took me two days just to put the lights in. That includes two trips to Ace Hardware. Which is actually only about 15-20 minutes down the road. And they got a good selection of nuts and bolts. Stainless, chrome, standard, grade 5, grade 8. Grade 2 is the cheap ones. That's what's on this car. Every single bolt on this car is a grade 2. Not advisable to use for any mechanical purposes. So, that's it. Have a good evening. Have a good Halloweeny. In sayonara.